combat begins shortly, your failure will likely follow. Alright, boys and girls, welcome to the new basic guide of Keltazad. Right, Keltazad is one of the worst assassins you can encounter if uh, you don't know how to play against him. Um, it's all about the chains, alright? So, quick review of the talents. For like this uh, talent build will provide you the most success rate at the, at the time and um, yeah it's a bit high tech really tough uh, to execute but it just needs more practice the, uh, as you practice you're gonna get better and better it's gonna be great so a level 1 became bar barbed chains is gonna increase the damage of the chains 125% and when we complete our quest, which is Master of the Cold Dark, uh, we will get a reduction of 15 armor on enemies that are pulled by the chain for 4 seconds. This doesn't sound like a lot, right? But you can do this almost all the time. Now, on level uh, 4, we're gonna get strip shields, pulling a hero with chain, chains of Kel'Zad Grants. Kel'Zad permanent shield at stacking up to two times. Additionally, uh, chains of Kel'Zad deals up to uh, 442 bonus damage to heroes' shields. Yeah, yeah, it's it's just uh, defensive because we have one of three here, and since we're going for this, it's gonna be great, especially with level 13 talent, which is Chain Link. Pulling two heroes together with chain of Kel'Zad reduces its cooldown by four seconds and we're refunds its mana this uh, this way we can fight a lot we can fight a lot we can uh, do more pulling which is basically what we're desperate for like if you check uh, death and decay is a spammable thing that uh, it's not uh, so important uh, to save as it is for chains and frost nova and frost nova cooldown is 10 seconds while this one is 12 but we will always wait for this one, alright? Always. We need chains first, then we need combo. But we'll get to that later. Glacial Spike. Oh man, don't you like this? Um, Glacial Spike is super great. Uh, you can do a lot of stuff with chains. We're gonna show it later. Shell Fisher will give us a chance to one-shot anyone we dislike. We already reeled this one, and Hungering Cold will be for 16. Sometimes I used to pick this one, uh, but it's nerfed, so uh, this extra spell power won't really be as good as this one because enemy heroes rooted by Frost will take additional 90 damage each time they're damaged by Katazad during the next 4 seconds. And this doesn't sound especially good, but it is when you land Death and Decay. So basically, it's with Chain, Frost Nova, Death and Decay, and Shadow Fisher. Now, level 20, well, most of the people are upgrading this so they can get a reset. I don't really think it's a, that's important because it's a 20 second cooldown. It's really not that big. And um, <clears throat> the damn return is their second option, which is also not that big of a deal. Um, because you obviously just kind of stationary I don't want to die mage uh, and you can't really move a lot and this is where this comes in handy so this activates you to dash forward deal damage to enemies in the path and takedowns reset it completely so if we use it we can you know instantly do damage to everyone we can go any uh, through anyone right so we have three dummies right now which is super great I mean you can't spam it like this obviously I just uh, set some commands here uh, that you can. Uh, so let's complete the quest. Boom. And right now we're gonna move. We're gonna move to the combo part. So all the combos are around chains of Keltuzad, starting from level one. Um, once you chain one, the idea is to chain next one and. Uh, make approximate time where it's gonna be uh, appro approximate place where Frost Nova is gonna hit. So it's always like that. Uh, that's from level one, right? So 
we want uh, to be able to land that Frost Nova because Frost Nova has a delay, as you can see. It's like a whole second, does it say? Maybe it says. <clears throat> yeah, up to one second. That's a lot. That's a lot. Like anyone can dodge in one second. Uh, but they can't dodge if it's instant. Alright. So when we get the glacial spike, we have several ways to deal with it uh, to make our combo work. So first one would be the basic um, as usual. So instead of a hero, we're using uh, a glacial spike for the first target. But this this one is only if the target is too far because obviously, like uh, if we're pushing, we want to reach like this right so uh, the hero is in front of us so yeah this is what we need to do all right the second way of doing this is to actually land it first so we land it first then we are placing the spike and pulling back once again doing the combo all right so those are like the main two things about the glacial spike what uh, what you can do um, but you you should also remember that chains of Kel'Thuzad can be used uh, in another way, and that is to chain with the fort. Once we get level 10, Shadow Fisher comes in handy, right? So uh, nothing really changes except for adding Shadow Fisher as well. So we're connecting one, two, three, boom. So all of that explodes and does well, as you see, a billion damage. If you're able to do this for two heroes uh, it's gonna be just game changing right there so we have a uh, chain of uh, Kel'Thuzad followed uh, with uh, Frost Nova and Dead and Decay instantly with Shadow Fisher and we can also add Shifting Malice to that because probably one of those is gonna die alright let's show this on our guinea pig Artis so Artis obviously has like so much HP, he's right now on 4.5, but like if we're able to land this and just chain him here, he's gonna suffer a lot of damage, just basically gets one shot at even with, with all that. And now we're the Lich King. Alright. Uh, <laughs> So we're gonna do this later on with the gameplay guide, so right now this is uh, only for the combo part and the talents build, so we're gonna get into it, gonna see you there. Worthy of neither mercy nor interest. <laughs> 